on the warm side today and it's almost feeling very fall like as those leaves start to fall. And we can see the temperatures are staying a little bit slightly above normal here. Satellite and S band radar show us the calm conditions out there. Temperatures mostly in the 60s. Again, a few 50s just near the heartland and the winds are a little bit strong out of the south and east at about 17 miles per hour here in the city of Abilene. Only nine here in the city of Tyler and about three from the city of Austin. Now for most of us, we haven't really seen that rain make a return to the big country in significant ways. And here moving into the drought monitor, we can actually see areas in those cities that are needing it a little bit more usual for this time. You could see areas to the north and west as well as the south and east that are seeing those moderate and even uh, severe cases of drought in the area. And unfortunately, I don't have very good news for us as we head into the temperature trend. They will start to climb heading into your Monday 82. But the good thing is we have a pair of cold fronts that will leave us into the 60s. We'll rebound heading into your Wednesday at about 75 and Thursday. We'll have another cold front that will push us into the lower 70s. Now normally at this time we're seeing temperatures around average of 70 degrees. So we are on the warmer side. But take a look at the precipitation chances. Very slim heading into your Monday. Could be looking at some drizzle that day and almost clearing out by the back half of the week and heading into the weekend is where we could see a little bit more of that rain. So let's go ahead and check out this cold front that is expected to arrive heading into your Sunday morning. For those of you heading off to church or to do some shopping, you can see a little bit of that cloud cover start to make its way in. Now we see a few isolated showers mainly to the west, but not expected to hang around by the noontime. And heading into the back half of your Sunday here, you can see it's clear for the rest of your evening heading into Sunday. Now Sunday heading into Monday, that's where we have these pockets of isolated rain just to the south of that. I-20 corridor. Most of this activity expected to be near the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Interior Monday evening is where the majority of that rain stays and away from the big country. So unfortunately, we'll have to see for that second cold front to really be able uh, to hone in on those rain chances. But now let's go ahead and move off into the Atlantic where we've seen a historic season unfold. This uh, tropical storm Ada has just refused to weaken and you could see this track as it starts to move here you can see that it will be impacting what is Cuba heading into tomorrow as well as Florida by your Wednesday uh, evening and it is expected to return. Now this system, since it is so weak, we can see the steering of the upper levels shift this system. Now uh, the National Hurricane Center has actually placed another system at about 20% chance of formation within the next five days. Now that could be the system that breaks uh, the record that we've seen that could be a tropical storm theta if we do see that develop. But here's a little bit of that holiday countdown that we have looking forward to four days until Veterans Day, 19 days until our Thanksgiving. 44 only to see the winter solstice and of course we are all wanting to see a little bit cooler weather and only 48 days until Christmas. So Danica it looks like we're looking forward to some much warmer temperatures. Back to you. Susie, so we were talking between the break about Thanksgiving and looking forward to it. Will it actually feel like Thanksgiving? Will it cool down? Well, as of right now, it looks like we are trending to see warmer than average temperatures. So unfortunately, it looks like we might have to be putting up those jackets heading into the next week. All right.